everyone and welcome back to my channel. It's been a hot minute since I last filmed a cleaning video and with everything going on right now I figured we could all use a little motivation because I'm sure by now you're getting pretty sluggish being cooped up inside. And that rings super true in my case because it took me two days to film cleaning my master bathroom and my guest bathroom. Two days! Aurora has been cluster feeding and so and so Emmett in turn has been acting out for attention and it has just been impossible to do anything around the house. But we made it, we conquered two areas of the house and with my luck by the time I get to the rest of the house the bathrooms will look like I never even did them. I've been If this is your first time visiting my channel, whenever I do a deeper clean of an area of my home, I will start by taking everything out. This way I can declutter along the way and throw out things that are empty or I don't use and rearrange things as I put them back, that sort of thing. I've been stuck going on my way, but it's not like I need a And you may have some history, but we don't have to repeat Every couple of months I have to wipe out our bathroom drawers really good because on my side I get makeup everywhere and on my husband's side I think he's trying to grow a second beard in his drawer. The aftermath of him shaving drives me so crazy. Let me know if you guys can relate down in the comments. All of the storage bins you're going to be seeing in my bathroom drawers and under the sink are from the Dollar Tree. It's my favorite place to go for super affordable organization stuff. The bins under my sink are my favorite by far because they are stackable. You can stack them as high as you want. I'm thinking about doing a dollar store organization themed series sometime in the next month or two. Depending on how things play out these coming weeks with the virus going around, it's very touch and go at the moment. As you guys know, the situation is developing rapidly. But hopefully things will flatten out and I can get to doing what I love. I just need to clear my head. I just need to. I just need to. With stopping the spread in mind, I have been getting into cleaning stuff that I don't typically clean as often. So a few days ago I cleaned all of my makeup brushes and today I wiped down all of the outside of my palettes. They were so incredibly dirty, it was so embarrassing, so I'm happy I got that done. Another thing I wanted to touch on is, oh my god, is it ever hard to find cleaning supplies right now? Grocery stores are closing earlier and I don't have my license, so usually my husband will go after he has done work in the evenings. And by the time he hits up the grocery store, everything is gone. It is absolute insanity. I am so lucky that I have cloth diapers and cloth wipes and I do a lot of DIY cleaning solutions at home. It is so wild out there right now.
was on my cleaning things that I don't often clean kick, I took the opportunity to soak all of my garbage cans and some cleaner in the tub. Since I was going to be washing the tub anyway, I don't do this nearly as often as I would like. So if you haven't done this in a while either, here is your friendly reminder. So I took out my bath mat and tossed that in the washer and this in particular is what I was talking about in regards to the grocery store. They had no Swiffer wet jet pads so I have resorted to washing the floors and the bathrooms on my hands and knees. Moving on to our guest bathroom, there was only so much I could do in this bathroom because right now we're just not sure about the bottle depots being open or if we even want to go there. So all of our bottles are sitting in the bathtub and garbage bags in the guest bathroom because we do live in an apartment and there's just really not many places to store them. So that is why I am skipping the bathtub for this bathroom. <music> I just noticed with this shirt I have on, you can see the giant burn on my arm. If you're curious, I had the kettle boiling for my tea and I reached directly over the streamline of steam coming out of it to grab some sugar and burn myself. Yep, that's pretty much right up there with the time I turned the microwave on with nothing in it. So please feel free to make me feel better about it by letting me know if you've done anything similar. I don't do a whole lot with the space under the sink in the guest bathroom. You can see it's pretty bare. I'd love to know what you guys do to make the most of your guest bathroom storage space. Maybe I'll even put it to use in a bathroom decor and organization video in the near future. And that's pretty much it for today's cleaning video. It was nice to just take it easy and film one of these. It is getting really tough going stir crazy in the house with the kids. So I figured it would be a good time to give other people some motivation. For me, I find it easier to clean if I'm listening to and or watching someone else do it along with me. It just gives me the inspiration I need. So hopefully I have instilled that in you today. Thank you guys as always for liking, commenting, and subscribing. And don't forget to check out my Instagram or you guys help me in my Instagram stories decide on what videos I should do next. And I will see all of you guys in the next one.